So, okay, my last class was like about it was was was, was, was women's literature, right? Uh huh. Very much like pro feminism. Very much like you know, and, and like actually good good stuff, you know. Yeah. I read The Handmaid's Tale, and that book fucked. Speak, speak into the speak into the microphone. Mm -hmm. Uh, this isn't going anywhere. No, 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 no. I'm, not, I'm not about to say anything anti-feminist. Don't worry. I know. But I want to I want to paint a <coughs> I want to paint a mental picture for you real quick, right? We're live right now, by the way. Okay. Um. Hi, hello. <laughs> Okay. The JT sober um, party. It was just about. That. No, 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 no. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I, I didn't do anything wrong, right? <laughs> but I'm gonna paint a very damning mental picture real quick. So imagine me, if you will, right? Wake up at wake up at uh, wake up wake wake up at you know 8:30, right? Yeah. Scroll through scroll through Reddit until like nine. Then, without even getting dressed. I go right to my computer and start typing about feminism. <laughs> just, just imagine that mental image. I just sat there like, like, like the first, the first day of the class. Like, not the first day, but like one of the first days of the class, realizing this, and I'm like, I feel like I should go to jail for this. <laughs> I was literally just fucking sitting there, like in my in my fucking underwear, just being like, <laughs> women's rights are very important. It's so hot. I'm so sick. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't even sick at the time. I was just fucking tired. Oh, like okay. I just want. I just wanted to get like. I'm just imagining JT. I'm just imagining JT in like a hot hot house, like the AC ain't working. I only just got an so AC, my apartment. And, it, and it only just started working today. Oh. Oh. <laughs> poor, poor, poor JT and all the sweat. He's like, I'm so sick. I'm so hot. No, look, I run warm. Like, I run very warm. I literally... Fucking I could, sleep with a cold blanket. JT, I can believe it. I hate. I hate. I. I. I don't like the heat too. Is that that I don't like the heat? It's li like literally. I've like. I have ever since I was a kid. I remember. Yeah. I um. Me, my <laughs> me, and my two cousins were playing in like a like not like in like a snowstorm, but like. Like, in a bunch of snow after a snowstorm. <laughs> uh -huh. he, he steps in the snow, it just melts around him. <laughs> oh, God. Like, I, I, um... I remember, right? We were getting, like, we are taking off all the coats and all the scarves, right? And my two cousins were fucking, like... Like, you touch them, you feel like they would be dead, right? <laughs> yeah. You touch me, it feels like I just came out of a fucking sauna. <laughs> what was it? And it's just like, how the fuck is he warm? And I'm like, this is me as a person. Chowder. Oh, Chowder. Man. Body heat. I, I exude body heat. <laughs> well, so well, what, what, sickness are, what sickness are you uh, cursed with this time, JT? For the second time this summer, a really fucking nasty cold. Ain't that ironic. Shut the fuck up, god damn it. <laughs> JT? Um, yeah. JT, just be thankful you didn't get the Rona. Oh yeah, yeah right, Zig, Zig got it. Oh yeah. Oh god, I'm gonna say, can I say something that's fucked? Sure. Ever since me and my family got the Rona last year, we have yeah. taken, we have looked at every time, cause here's what happened to my family. Mm -hmm. So I have a f seven year old sister, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Whenever and seven year olds are um fucking snot machines. Oh so whenever whenever my whenever my lovely little sister gets sick, the whole house is a fucking plague. <laughs> yeah, cause they just get they just <laughs> fucking touch everything and then it just spreads. Mm -hmm. They also don't realize like I like I have had many times where my sisters come up to rug me not rug me, to hug me. And then just take yeah. a step back, cough into her arm, and I'm like, oh, I'm fucked. 
Like, is she like, every time they're like, well, I'm well, playing Dark Souls Well, well, you're Souls not fucked unless you, like, rub that in your mouth or eyes and shit. Oh, no, it's too late for me. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. You forget, you forget, and then you do it, and then you're just like... <coughs> like, I, like, I've learned, no, I've learned, oh. I've learned how to not, I've learned how to, like, n avoid sickness, like, crazy. Well, also, you currently work in a school. So you're you're gonna be like. I work in a school, but not more... near the students. I have my own you're office. Not, you're not I forgot you had your own office. That's still sick. <laughs> well, wait, we can't yeah. think. What was it? The last time we talked, I was still in the school. I'm not in the school anymore right now. No, I know that, but like you worked in a school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, the, the best way to stay sick, you just don't fucking go near anybody. Like, yeah. like, they come near me, like, what am I supposed to do, ignore my sister? <laughs> no! But you, you gotta wash your hands, bro! I do wash my hands! You do? Yeah, dog! Sometimes washing your hands just ain't enough. I have a I very bad immune experience. system. Oh my god. <laughs> do you, I like, what, doing what, everything well, what soap say? do you use, like? Do you use like antibacterial? Like you know. I don't. I don't know. But uh, like, I just have a bad immune like, system. Merrick, I, I appreciate what you're trying to go for and shit like that, but. Uh, look, it's genetic. My mother gets sick. It, like it's fucking candy. Yeah. Sick like candy? What? She she gets sick like it's going out of style. Uh, I like there. There are. I, I I love her to death, right? <coughs> but the consumption's got sick again. I remember. Um. I remember, like last year, there were like seven times. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Like last year and the year before, right? There were like seven times. Yeah. That, oh, I can't come and see you today. I think I have COVID, right? Oh. Or like she'll you know, she'll swear she has COVID. You know, she'll be sick, right? All that jazz. Uh huh. And then, and then when I caught COVID, right? Like you legitimately had COVID. Yeah. She was like, "Oh, I never had COVID. What's that like?" <laughs> oh God. I'll be, you know, I had a very mild case of it, but still, it's fucking pain. You, no, you know what makes it, you know what makes it awful? Is that, like, uh, yeah. it, like, alright, somebody described it as it sucks out your will to live, rather than, like, you know. Yeah. And if you're, if you're, like, with people, and, like, you all have COVID, it's best to stay with each other, watch movies, and do stuff together, and keep that will to live going? Mm-hmm. So it, like, it, 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 so you know, like I know, I know there was like the joke back when like the thing was still up and everything like that, right? Um, yeah. You know, like the Great Equalizer, or whatever. But like, legitimately, like unless you're unless your like family is like assholes, you really should stick together in that situation, you know? I, like I got no, I got no other like. I got no other like advice for that one. Yeah. But like, Do what I can. Get, get, get your significant other sick with you, and then walk, and then walk, and then suffer together. <laughs> yeah, 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 you cough in their Which mouth. Is ironically, what I what I accidentally did. You cough in their oh, mouth and no. say, "I'll see you in hell." <laughs> so I made I I, uh, I no. made a promise, right? I yeah. said, "Look, honey." I am a mopey little shit. <laughs> and I need, and I need, I need cuddles. I crave attention. And, and, she, and she's just like, I'm gonna get sick if I cuddle you. And I'm like, look, we'll make a deal. I'll crave, I crave I'll deal. attention. If I, I, if I don't, if I, I get what I want. But if I get you sick because of it, <laughs> I give you, I give you, I give you a, a I'll, give, I'll give you a back massage. Every day you're sick. And boy, howdy, were my hands tired. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but you know what? It, it was with love. Oh my god! I think I'm going good with the everything now. Okay, cool. Now yeah, we just you know need what? Fucking... No, right, on. Uh... Am I, am I, how how TMI am I allowed to be? 
As long as you're not like, f like, you want. All right. If I'm being honest, as long as you're not like, um, what you would call it. If you if you if you're talking about like this stat or the other thing, as long as you're not like you know, talking about like the specifics, I don't think we're gonna get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm talking about sicknesses and being gross. Oh, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking the about how the woohoo dance. <laughs> <laughs> you should have. You should have specified that from the beginning. I I realized that after the fact. <laughs> you, you I'm not gonna fucking. I'm not gonna fucking <coughs> leave, put my sexual life out like a fucking romance novel. <laughs> I'll be single oh by the time God. chapter two's done, and there's not gonna be more chapters after that. <laughs> he, this man told his whole life story on a live stream. It all started when I wanted to become a clown. <laughs> Ironically enough, that was before I was born. <laughs> you know, you know. Oh, now I'm okay. imagining, now yeah, okay, imagining okay, the yeah, fetus. Yeah. I'm on. imagining the fetus with the fucking clown wig and the red nose. Oh god. No, hold on. You know, like the you ultrasound, like uh, you hear like its heartbeats. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of like the beep 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 beep, it's. Right. I thought you were gonna say it was gonna be. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh my god, wait, did I get- hold on, wait, wait. Game? Did the game? What's going on? <laughs> oh, I lost- I, um, I lost connection. Can I get invited again? <laughs> oh. May- may I- may I please be invited again to the game of merriment? Sure thing. <laughs> Thank you very- like, wait, hold on. J Why JT- I offline now? JT2. I have to tell you this much. Uh-huh. Um, uh, don't be out in the oh god damn it. Fucking there, skeleton. Let me, let, me, let me restart the game real quick. The ske right. a ske a Wait, what? My 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 uh my gearbox is. Wait, the battle the battle gear. didn't go. Oh wait, now it went. Yeah, like Merrick. You didn't hear JT before? No, I no, I heard him. I didn't expect the fucking skeleton to come out of nowhere and boot me from behind. You never suspect the skeleton was off his meds. You never do. You never fucking do, and look what happens. Yeah. Well, JT, we got into a battle without you completely by accident. Yeah, it happens. Bro. Yeah. Bro, but, remember, I, 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 like, remember the, remember the fucking, like, around Christmas the other year? When, like, um, I was, we were trying to do Starbound and I was just, like, deathly sick that night? Right, I remember. Oh god. And everything was just breaking down. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like... Yo, sick gamers over here, let's go! I was like, I was doing... Ziku, won't you take me to Funky Town? <laughs> or whatever the fu- I don't remember how I was. I, re I remember you being like that. Yo, Genshin Impact has an update, let's go! You play Genshin? Fuck no! <laughs> Fuck no, I don't play Genshin Impact. I thought, you just outed I, thought you were I thought you just outed yourself on stream here real quick. Fuck no, I'm not a pedophile. I'm <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you just say? I said I'm not a pedophile, I know that. What Eric, the? I've heard that joke so many times before with Genshin Impact. I'm everybody on this I, I, That was the first time I've heard that! Genshin. What? You've never heard the meme of Genshin Impact players being No! No, because I know a few people who legitimately play that game. And I go, oh. why? Now I feel <laughs> I didn't want to be the first. I thought this said pummeling anus of, of wizard, wizardom. Dark magic damage, oh. stabomancer power. Oh man. Who was the stabomancer? I think that was JT. I'm not a, I'm not a stabomancer. Am I st No, I'm not a stabomancer. Oh. I, well, we I guess have, we, we have two. We have two spell shots. Me! 
Okay, I'm aware. Two spell shots. One of them is a clawbringer. Yeah, one of me. Them is a berserker. <laughs> yeah, one of them is a berserker. And then you have me, um, who <laughs> has to be special and Brian in his own fucking class. Um, Light Geist and and Graveborn. Hmm. JT has to stand out from the. I have to stand out. I couldn't join. Look, if I knew you were both gonna be a spell shot, I would have 100% conformed. <laughs> I saw you an invite, by the way, JT. I saw. I saw. <coughs> JT's gonna getting... have trouble the whole time. If I do, I'm going my. I'm taking. I'm going. I'm going to fucking. I'm gonna give you a coffee corner, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> That'll be a five minutes session. Session whatever. Fucking. Coffee, co uh, it, it, you literally just streamed the coffee corner, and then it's like, all right, guys, what did we learn today? What did we learn today? What did we learn? I'd probably, I'd probably just be like, hey, Zing, you want to play some Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> probably. Oh, fuck, we could have done that. Uh oh. I am an idiot. Uh oh. Uh oh. I mean, no, I'm still down the fuck with this. Also, you sound uh, better. You sound better now that you're talking to me. On yeah. Not not to, not to sound like I'm inconsiderate about your, like, you know. But you do sound better now that you're talking a bit more, I'm not gonna lie. That's I blew the my, that's I blew the fuck out of my nose, and now my sinuses aren't fucking dying. That's what good. did we learn on the show? Also, I took a Mucinex, like, an hour ago, and I think it's finally starting to kick in. Also, also, JT, you, 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 you know the news what's going on with me, right? I, uh, yes. <laughs> I wanted to, I, I swear to god if I had a budget that would help I'm sorry <laughs> uh, I laugh but I'm crying on the inside if you if you ever like if I have space if you ever need like a, a place to crash I'll see what's, like, I'll see what's going on hopefully I don't get kicked out maybe I will maybe I won't I don't know because I'm not. If I don't, if I don't have I'm Amanda really here, you could say a couple days. Like if 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 this is like if this is like just get out and run. I, I hope like I I I have heard a lot of people are looking out for me. So <laughs> did we find everything or um? Oh, we got here. So uh. <laughs> the fucking skeleton ran up behind me and fucked <laughs> me on the fucking back of my skull. Oh god, that's where you can play like a random encounter. It, okay. Yeah. It hit like the soft spot of his uh, fucking cranium. <laughs> no, I can't god, do. What god was this? No, I can't do math. Shrine oh, of no. Throtus Punches. But uh, but yeah, like um, so yeah, I'm 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 dealing with stupid shit all of a sudden randomly. Yeah. Like I was like I, I was waiting for it to come and whatnot. And then, um, now I, now, oh, why don't you have, oh, the neighbor, the neighbor has his, um, the neighbor has his, uh, doctorate, doctorate, uh, when are you gonna get a diploma? Yo, I had a very similar experience like that, um, earlier, I wanna say either yesterday or the day before. Hmm. So I, I technically have, um, two, 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 two degrees, right? Yeah. Oh, congratulations! You, wait, wait, I don't remember you saying you had two degrees. So, I got my associates in creative writing, and then congratulations! Last... Thank you. You should have told us. Yeah, congrats, I thought I did. I don't remember if you did. That was twenty twenty one. Oh. Oh wait. Well, happy. Oh yeah, now I remember. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like. Oh, did they give you the bullshit? Oh, what, are you gonna get a useful degree or some bullshit like no, that? No, 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 no. You're gonna, you're, you'll get a kick out of this. Just, 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 just wait. All right. So I also recently got my certificate for teacher's assistants. Oh, nice. congratulations! Thank you. I am now um, roughly a year away to get my bachelor's in English, and then I might do something useful. Who knows? But Woo! Not, but um, besides, that's the point. I got so I got my certificate in the mail yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, early this week. Um, so what happened was, um, 
my my father being a very very needy ego mm -hmm. um he 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 calls me down and goes hey you got a letter from nasa and i go that's my certificate right <laughs> i can't wait to get my harvard acceptance letter <laughs> damn it like, well, that's my, that's my like, certificate. You know, I, I have a piece of paper that proved I fucking did it for some reason, right? Right. I, I can't wait to get my Harvard acceptance letter. Can't wait to be a fucking teacher's assistant with this and earn $12. <laughs> what was, um, <laughs> fucking, it was like Billy and Mandy the taking tree? <laughs> mm. uh, Billy's uh, dad got a Harvard acceptance letter, but... I remember that. Oh, the tree God. took it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I can't wait to get my Harvard acceptance letter. Okay, okay. So, um... So, so my, so my dad, right? See my, see my, you know, nice, nice new, new shiny diploma. Uh-huh. Yeah. My diploma. Um, I guess it's a diploma. I don't fucking know. Sees my certificate. He goes, ah, I see my certificates here. And he goes, yours? Motherfucker. What do you mean, yours? It's yours. You're the one who took all the classes and shit. Yeah, he goes. He goes. Yeah, well, I, I, I got, I got some credit for it. I'm gonna go. No, my, I did it. <laughs> in, in zero percent. This is the fucking yeah. a, the, the asshole who fucking tore apart your shit. Fuck him. Yeah. Um, and he goes. Okay, but who earned it more, me or your mother? What? That's what he said. No, on God. What? Ooh. What? No, who is this no guy? Man. Who is this man? He's like, who earned it more, me or your mother? And I'm like, neither of you. Who is this man? And he's like, but I, but I, if anyone has a claim over it, it's between me and your mother. It's me, right? And I'm shut like, the fuck, what the God. fuck? I literally said, if I say you, will you shut the fuck? Will you? Will you like? Will you? Will you drop it? <laughs> if I say right you, away? will you he goes, shut the fuck I, up? I didn't say will you shut the fuck up. Like if I if I if I say you, will you drop it? And he goes immediately. And I'm like, it's you. And he's like, I was like, noted. Thank you. I I I. Uh, <laughs> shut up. And and no no it gets better right. He takes it out of the, he takes it out of the slip and he sees and he sees. So my middle name is my mother's last name, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And he sees that on there and goes, oh, and he goes, oh, what do you mean? It's like, why is her name on here? And I'm like, you're supposed to put your middle names on, on these things. It's my middle yeah. name. And he goes, hey, no, Piper. I don't want it anymore. How you doing? Hello. Uh, <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> but, um, but he's like, yeah, no, I don't even want it anymore. Um, and I'm like, okay, it's mine what? anyway. J JT is sick, and um, he, we're, we're talking about his uh, Harvard acceptance letter. JFC, you want to correct me? No, I don't You're... wish, actually. <laughs> what? <coughs> but, you, don't, um, you don't wish he had a Harvard acceptance letter? No. I think that would honestly ruin me. Why? Because I'm at a point in my life where, like, I don't. I kind of don't want to finish college. Yeah. And if I get accepted to fucking Harvard, then I kind of don't have a reason to not finish it. Hmm. Or like, uh, that, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a lot more than just getting a bachelor's in English. Liter you know literally, I mean? literally me with yeah. school. I'm just like, uh, uh, I can't, I can't fathom the thought of it right now. I get that. Look, uh, look. You have a bit of a you have a bit of an advantage and a reason to go back because for most most jobs right now, all you really need is an associate. College yeah. is overrated. <laughs> like, <laughs> honestly, uh, one of my coworkers only has an associate's and shit, and he's like a fucking he's like one of the best fucking programmers that we have. Th that's what my now. that's what my mom wants me to get is just an associate's, but it's just like I like. I'm, like, I, I don't want to say, like, I'm fucking, I'm burnt out and I'm disillusioned and it's take, it's just, I need the time to, like, recoup and think about what I really want to do with it, you know? No, I, I get you. Yeah, I get no, that. I get that. Like, pl plus look, plus look, just, seeing as how the way something's going, it may or may not become, like, you know, depending on certain circumstances, mm -hmm. I think I, 
Plus I plus I really don't wanna go back on like I really don't wanna go back on like um fucking loaning money, so you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get you. So I think I think I'm kinda like with the my like I think I'm kinda with like the C's get degrees crowd. I mean look, I'm with them as well. And I'm getting and I've gotten degrees. Also you can't also you can't spell degree without D. Hmm. Look, last semester I got a D minus in a class, and I'm like, you know, I passed. But yeah, like, but yeah, oh, no. Oh, but how you oh, doing, wait, Piper? Wait, before I forget. What's up? Before I forget, I didn't, finish, I didn't finish the story. Yeah, no, go right ahead. Okay, so. I I pet. By the way, just before you go, before you do, just be saying this, I passed a class with a B because the teacher knew I was fucking passionate. I'm in the same boat. I have a decent job, but I'm putting everything I've got into streaming. It's what I want to do, but creatively, it's crushing me. Oh my god, fucking... It's so hard to fucking concentrate on, like, one project after the other. No, I, I feel that. Like, writer's block, mm -hmm. writer's block is bad with me. That looks valuable. What might be good is to try and, like, write that whenever you're, <coughs> whenever you're like passionate, write down a bunch of ideas, and then when you're going through writer's block, circle back and work on the ideas that, um, that you, that you previously worked, wrote down. I'd rather risk it on streaming than go to college at this point. <laughs> Honestly, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you. That's not even a bad call, because you, you can always go back to college. Yeah. Yeah. I said that myself. I said that myself. Like I like when I when I first was like starting to get disillusioned by school. I'm like, man, I like working because I gotta be there. But then like school, it's like I go there and I socialize and I feel like I'm not learning anything. And it's like I try to do the work, and it's like I have no free time anymore, and this sucks. So what might be good is if you if you still want to like do college, just find like a college. It offers like an online program, and then you just don't worry. Like, then you just really do it on your own time. Also, I think that I think that my um mom is. Uh, I think that my mom kind of like because I got into a car accident that made her fail her online college courses or some shit. So I think she still got that resentment. That seems like her problem. Yeah. The, ir the irony of it is, the irony of it is too, is that like, um, you know, it's funny. She couldn't do the homework. She had to ask me for help. Mm. There just isn't enough time, and I'm not Superman, so I can't always put like 40 hours in the stream. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And sometimes, sometimes I, you can't, like, I can't even. Sometimes I'm like, man, I wish I could stream in the mornings still, but I can't anymore yeah. because both people are home. And like, there, like when my parents were away, I was contemplating doing it during the morning sometimes. But I'm like, I don't want to get into the habits, and I'm gonna want to do it, and I can't do it all the time. Yeah, well, again, like regarding your situation and whatnot, like if, like if I you know, get my own place, then I'll be able to, you know, you'll probably be able to bring back, like you know, the at least the Monday morning madness and shit like that, because that was actually fun and whatnot. Monday when, morning no. madness, random doom shit. <laughs> I forgot we had four weapons. Yeah. Morning streams are usually my best streams. Yeah, because everybody's around at night. Once again, I'm glad. I'm glad every. I'm glad everybody's able to get like you know some form of success somewhere. Mhm. Mm it's fun. Oh wait, I gotta do the hero fucking stats too. Oh, you, you so, leveled up? Yeah. Cool. So, um, G, so, uh, G Money Jester, you got, uh, your new show, you got any financial advice? Because <laughs> I, I, I have, so far, I've earned $50 for the fun to get out of here, out of, like, the, my, I, I, is like, I just did the math, I just doubled what I needed, so just for, like, 2900 is my goal. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think. I hope. So, okay. So you're looking for a place, right? 
Zig helped me find one, actually, and I'm, I'm really interested in this one now because it's close to a train station. Um, it's a house, and it's like four, it's like 1450 Rootin' tootin' Four, at least. Wait, 14, like, to rent? Yeah. 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 1450, that's actually really fucking good. Holy shit. Technically, yeah. technically yeah, speaking... Yeah, no, like, can, like I, compared to, like, everything else, like, you know, in, in that general area and shit, that's so much cheaper than, like, so, than What is it, like, a studio? One bed, one, one bed, one bath. One bed, one bath? That's actually really fucking good. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, like, uh, Holy shit. Well, there's got to be, like, some fucking rules to it. I'll send you the link after after the stream and whatnot, or, like, you know... Yeah, yeah, no, that whenever. sounds really fucking good. Um, regardless, though, um, <laughs> know, know what you make in a month, and make sure you're not paying, like, more than half of your, of your monthly... It's supposed to be one-third of your monthly salary only goes to rent, but, mm -hmm. like, that's mm -hmm. not realistic in today's economy, so, like... Oh, hell no. Let's try, yeah. and, let's try and aim for like a half to two thirds at best. Thank God yeah. I live. Thank God I live in a smaller market. Like I, I, I can't believe. And it's, it's in New York too, so it's like. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Like look, I, I'm look. like I said. I was told that like this is hell. That this is like hell to try to like you know. The for the housing market is going. Look, the housing market is bound to crash. The problem is yep. we, the problem is it has not yet. Like, you know what's the funniest thing I see? Like, I see, like, all these Doomer memes, like, my parents when they were 20 owning a house, me when I'm 20 I'm renting. I'm like, who the fuck gives a shit if you're renting? I think renting's better than owning at this point. Um, kinda, yeah. Like, if you can afford it, rent. That's it. It really depends, but, like, mm -hmm. regardless of it. Um, so, yeah, make sure you have a place that's like, you can, you can safely afford. Um, honestly, like, roommates or not, are, are really fucking good in today's economy. Yeah. <laughs> this is my side of the apartment, but it's okay if you come across <laughs> on this side. There's no conflict! <laughs> oh, bro. I'm down. I, I see okay. that. I was trying to get you. <laughs> the even couple. All right. Well, wait, wait. Don't go any. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? Hello. I saved your ass and I got blown up for it. Get some. Meet me after I get revived. Get some. I get up and I go. I'm down again. Uh. Both of you? Uh, yeah. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> Wait, I could probably. Oh fuck! I'm dead. Sorry, Merrick. It's fine. I couldn't get to you in time, and I could get to him in time. <laughs> um. I'm watching Zig. I'm watching Zig kick ass. I can't believe we actually turned like G Money Jester into a thing. Look, I'm not. I watch a lot of really weird shit in my free time, and, surpri <laughs> and a surprising amount of it is, is help with money. <laughs> yeah. Once again, um, once again, like we're gonna bring you out with like the puppets and like. <laughs> I also I also watch enough random legal advice bullshit that it might be the help there. When when the re when the really relaunch when the relaunch happens, JT, we're we're gonna we're gonna turn it into a full segment. Oh brother! We're gonna have we're gonna have a theme song for it. We're gonna get you like little puppets. You're gonna come out with like, you know, the little squirrel like, whoa, that's nuts! And then it fucking takes a little. It, it... <laughs> no, the squirrel is the character Mad that's like always like. Shit on this. Wait, what? Mad money. It was a fucking. It was like, some, like one of those weird like you know. Uh, finance shows that was on like CNBC and whatnot. Yeah, like the guy there was came a out. Balding guy. Yeah, he came out uh, with like, there was, like a bald guy on there, and he was just like, you know, he had like all the fucking sound effects and shit. <laughs> he comes out. There's, there's gonna be like one character. It's like a like a small like young young child, and they're gonna be like the ones like genuinely curious and like listen to the advice. And there's gonna be like a crazy squirrel. 
That's like mm. I don't trust the banks. I put all the, I put all my money money in the floor. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Where is my mattress? <laughs> yeah, my, just... sto my stocks were on the rise, so I took them all out. <laughs> I don't trust my banks. I put all my money in the floor. Put all my money in the floor. <laughs> Offshore account? You mean on the? You mean out of the beach, right? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make. What was? What were we gonna call the show? <laughs> What are we going to call the um, segment? Money and legal by a jester, for for kids with a Z. <laughs> G for G money jester. <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> Can I just preface this by saying that your results may vary? Can I yeah, what? Yeah, GT. Well, what if somebody goes bankrupt with your advice? What What would you do? Um... <coughs> I would say they didn't listen to it properly. I would, I would be that. I would be that asshole, and I would fully double down on them being in the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, JT, you got you, JT. You got yourself a show. Oh please no! I I already I already stress out with the coffee corner. <laughs> I'll do this occasionally, but like I don't want it to be a consistent like. If there's ever a legal thing. We're well, fine with that. We'll still make you like a Thebes song and everything. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll still let. We'll, we're gonna get you the puppets. We're gonna still gonna. <laughs> we'll give you your own soundboard, JT. JT. Can I just, JT? Can I just preface this by saying that I had no fucking involvement with this? Well, that, at, that's at least in the development fair. of it and shit. <laughs> That's G very fair. Jester. Don't worry about it. Look, 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 look. When, when look, people I, are look, when people I, are in pain, we need laughter. Okay, laughter yeah. is what saves lives. Exactly. Look, I've come to the I've come to the realization that I am as a person just iconic in every in every fucking aspect. <laughs> Give I don't know me why. Back people my... just, I'm just iconic <laughs> in a painful way. Almost <laughs> daily, game master. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh. Oh, give me back my sister. I'm I'm just iconic, and it's just like I don't get it. People people like doing things with me, and I ask them to stop. I think I'm at the classic and iconic co-host of the Marriage Talk. GT, GT, you're the man that everything you say makes people laugh. <laughs> but this is the problem. Why? Why? <laughs> That's the problem. You, everything you say makes people laugh. Nobody. Stop laughing. I get it. Little funny man go with his mouth and noise comes out. You, you'll you'll say like you'll say like you're dying on the street. I need medical attention. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. I, I I'm I'm both fully aware. <laughs> And head of the fact that my final words would probably be, hey, watch this. <laughs> like, It'll be like that one comedian who died of a heart attack on stage. <laughs> Holy shit! But, like, hear me out, that's such a powerful bit. I know. He peaced out during his whole show. Like, no, what if he, like, knew he was about to die? He just goes, hey, check this one, suckers. File. <laughs> 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 well, there, there was um, there was a flim flam man from like way, 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 way back, right? And you know what he did? He oh, he yeah. said he was like the master of voodoo and all that jazz, right? Yeah. And he uh. would fake his death on a consistent basis, and come back to life, and like everybody, be like, oh my god! So then one day he actually died, and nobody believed it. So you know what? It, so you I'm know what? I'm not gonna lie. What? That's yeah. a power move. You know, like, the, 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 you know what happened? His manservant went around, like, he's like, you know what? I, I want to make him. He's like, you know what? Like, people are like, oh my god, he's faking it. And so, so, so basically, what he did is he went around with the body, earning. He like he he people paid him that they could try to wake him up because they thought he was faking or whatever the fuck. They thought he was actually, you know, and then he wasn't. Yeah. So That's like, powerful. so like you know, 
I don't know if he inherited a fucking scent. Like, the manservant inherited a fucking scent from the dude who died. But, at, like, he used his, he used his, like, you know, his boss's body as a way to make money. Which, when you think about it, is really fucked up. Like... Yeah. The whole Honestly, scenario. This society, fucking pow- fucking good. <laughs> you know what? You know what's funny? I feel. I feel like. I feel like a lot of like work is going back to like pre-industrial era. Oddly, because when you think no, about that's it, very when accurate. you think about it, the flim flam men were like the first gig economy. Like, we're should... wrong. That's fucked. <laughs> I love how this- I love how this show. Like, like, no- no fucking joke. Like, you could- you could easily tell we have a very, like, left-leaning bias. But, like, but, like, straight up, it just starts talking politics about, like, where the fucking economy is going. Look, <laughs> like, look, I- I, at one point, I was never- I was never right-leaning, but I- I- I, I considered myself a centrist, and now it's, now it's a harder. I'm harder. I'm having a harder and harder time to like be in that center because the because JT, man, the right is just. I was a hard time. JT. I was talking with Zig. I was talking with Zig about this a while ago because remember when you said like um remember when you said uh like the Animaniacs made fun of everybody right? Right. It was mostly celebrities though. They never really yeah. made like political jokes or like. And, it was, and if they did, it was always like, you know, whoever whoever the fuck was in charge at that time. Like, yeah, that, you know yeah, what that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, God. That's what I'm saying. They didn't take a side. They just made fun of everyone. But the thing is, though, is that, like, they never, like, in the reboot, they never did either. Like, they never took a side. Like they, I don't agree with that. But the thing is, at the same time, how the fuck, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> how the fuck do you not make fun of the people that are trying to, like, destroy everything? No, I, look, I get it. I, I, I understand the point, but consider the following. I don't want, it's, I don't know if I would summon the Animaniacs to be the fucking, to talk about gun control. They never talked about gun control, though. That was They okay. did, they had a full episode about gun control. I don't remember that. They, it was the episode where the, like, that's where the anime fucking scene came in. It was, they said it was bun control. Oh. Oh. That went over my fucking head. Oh, I, I thought it wasn't subtle at all. You wanna know, you know, you wanna know unsubtle? Like, did you ever watch, uh, okay, KO, Let's Not Be Skeletons? Oh, I hate oh, yeah, that. I remember that. People hate that episode. I think it's fine. It's good, like, I think it's fine. Like I don't, I don't, I don't agree. I don't agree with like the anti-gun message, but like, I don't, I don't agree with like you know, like you know, there there, there shouldn't be guns. But I, I think that the episode itself is fine. It's much better than the fucking Sonic episode. I like the Sonic episode. I didn't. I made a meme about it. I don't know. It's like the 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 um, let's not be skeletons one. It's just like. I thought okay, it had a good message, it. but I think, um, at the end where it's just like, you know, where it's like... Oh, you, you know, call the governor and it solves every problem. It, it like... Your, your constituent or some shit like that. You're yeah, not, like, you're not wrong, like, you're not wrong, I, but, like, like I, it's not gonna be that simple, you know? Yeah, because I, I know it's still a fucking kid's show and whatnot, so, you know, there has to be, like, you know... But like, that's like, the thing, know, have you some, really wanna... Or it's like, have some faith and shit like that, but it's just like, like no. No, I, wanna... what I know now. Here's the thing. <laughs> you can do a kid show and talk about adult themes. Oh yeah, no, definitely. No shit. But like... I don't feel like, I don't feel like gun control is in that circle. Hmm. Uh, it's like, well, they're not gonna, they're not gonna have any idea what the fuck it means. Well, that's why they use the skeleton remote. Right, but like, I don't think. So like, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm sure this is, this is a show that I'm sure everyone, no one, or no one here's a uh, stranger to. Um, the the new the new kid show that actually fucked Louie. Yeah. Right, we've all heard of it. Any any uh, any strong opinions of the show from either of you? So I just had an odd- I just had an odd occurrence again. I think the stream crashed and then it came back up, but nothing, like, changed. Oh yeah, no, it did. 
You're like, that, like, what the fuck? Uh, that's weird now. That was twice. That was consistent. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, no, I think it's just real. because of like the weather or some shit. Yeah, but true. Yeah, cause I've had I... that happen in like shitty. But. Yeah, as you were saying, so, JT. It's, oh, a, it's a, any any it looks... any opinions on Bluey from either of you two? Um, I thought it's fun. Yeah, it looks like a fun show. My guy. Okay, yeah. Um, Bluey Fox, because it 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 it, in, it is my opinion like a uh, a fucking mastercraft in talking about complex ideas in a ways kids can understand, right? Oh. Yeah. They. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. I guess. I, 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 wait, what, what you, you, you and you and the communities call yourselves Blueys, I guess, right? I look. I'm not. I'm not that big into the Bluey fandom, but I know the show. I, I know. When he oh fuck, Jay Oh yeah. god damn it! I'm sorry. Wait, no. No, you're no. wait, wait. Thank no. you. You, got, you bought me some time. Like every fandom, I bet it's got its dark side. Anyway. Um. Uh. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna hide in the corner real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Gotcha. We got this covered. <laughs> I, I, once again, I love how I love how um yeah le le left leading bias or whatever, and then it's just like oh full on. <laughs> We're just talking about politics and more messaging. Uh, yeah. Might, might as well just call this one the political episode. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Again, we were just talking about, like, you know, shit, like, you know, college and just, like, you know, finding your own fucking place and just, like, you know, how to budget shit and whatnot, to be quite honest with you. So it's a very mishmash of topics and whatnot tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, hello? Hey. Hello. Hey, uh, were all of you guys screaming about, like, two peas in a pod or something? What? No. I heard, like, some, like, two peas in a pod, two bullets in a mag, like, some weird fucking voice line I thought I was hiding in the corner, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Again, I've been more, I've been more, uh, preoccupied with just, like, you know, um, us just talking about shit and whatnot. No, I get you. To um, even notice, like, the voice lines and whatnot, you know what I mean? Two peas in a pot. <laughs> two bullets in a mag. I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if that was in the fucking... Because that, that is a very much a fucking gearbox joke right there. Yeah. Why is Hyperius consistently disappointing? Because it's Hyperion. They, they trade actual bullet effectiveness for utility you know, nine times out of ten. Mm -hmm. Like, they'll give you a shield, or they'll have really nice, really fast reload speeds, or they'll, like, they'll shoot really quickly and have some weird status, or, like, they'll shoot, they'll shoot faster the longer you <coughs> shoot. <coughs> yeah. like, ever since Borderlands 2, I've never liked a Hyperion gun, and I don't even remember getting a Hyperion gun in Borderlands 1, like, Maybe once. Hmm. I don't know if they were a big, as big of a brand in, in one, but um, I just realized I never oh. finished my diploma story. Yeah. Oh yeah. G continue with that. Continue. We'll, we'll, we'll break away from. We'll break away from political talk. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Two pizza. Oh um. Two pizza pot. Two bullets in a mag. <laughs> I think Flaptrap said that once. Did I, am I, am I two ooh. two peas in a pod. Two <laughs> cannibals. Did. Two cannibals in a fat guy's rib cage. That is a good clap. Either way. That was in Borderlands um, too. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. So um, as I was saying. Yeah. Um. Wait, wait, J JT. Before you go, can I just be? Can I just say this stupid line? Yeah, sure. Go on, act smart for everyone. Oh lord, what the fuck? Oh, thank you. No problem. Okay. So your story. Right. Tell your story. Oh, okay, okay. The floor's yours. So I, 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 told, I told my dad, hey, so 
I'll, um, I'll, I'll say you earned it more than my mother. Uh, he, uh, alright, I said that part. He got mad about my mother's, my mother's last name being on there, despite it being my middle name. Yeah. And he was, he was looking at the certificate, right? And he goes, how long have you been in college now? And I'm like, about five-ish years. He mm -hmm. goes, you know, most people become doctors in that time. And I go, take eight years to get a doctorate. What? Not like, not to yours, but like to your dad. Yeah. He goes, like, no, some, no, you can be a doctor working at that time. And I'm like, no. And he's like, no, no you can't. And he's like, oh, maybe, yeah, I guess maybe a chiropractor, but I don't think you want to do that. To the chiropractor! Away! Um, uh, spoiler warning, did you not want to be a chiropractor? Yeah, I Do you not want to be a doctor? You don't, don't want to be... Oh, wait. I, I, I barely want to be a bachelor, or to get a bachelor's. So wait, 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 don't, don't, so what, what you're saying is don't be a doctor, don't be a chiropractor. No, that's not what I'm saying. This is we're not in the G Money gesture skit. Oh. Well, they have to saying, do with finances. I thought you were just saying like, don't, don't do this, don't do that. I'm like, okay. Um, I'm saying I don't want to be. Oh, oh, yeah. I fucking heard that wrong. Yeah, no. Um, like my mother was very like we. Had, I had a very stern conversation with my mother a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. She was like. So, when are you gonna go get your masters? And I'm like, haha, ha, never. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> I, I was, uh, yeah, like, JT, I'm, I'm, like, sort of in that same boat as you when it comes to just, like, you know, I'm, listen, I did, I got my associates and I got my fucking bachelor's and shit. I'm done with school for the time being. I just want to fucking work. <laughs> and then, like, and then there's me. <laughs> like, Honestly, half the time, from from a lot of what I'm understanding at this point, all you really need in this house is it's... Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'll try out Either... this Torque. Ooh, it's a revolver? Torque makes revolvers? Ooh! I never knew that! <laughs> oh, fuck. I might not like this, but damn, this is fucking cool! Mm-hmm. I'm, I, I'm not gonna lie, JT, I'm, I'm, I'm not too impressed with, like, the damage. Oh, I found a Graveborn armor, by the way, JT. Or a... Does it also have, um... Status effect damage, gun reload speed. Wait, what, 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 does it also have blood color on it? No. Uh, I'll keep what I got, but I appreciate it. This is a cool-ass gun. <laughs> but yeah, what, what are you gonna... So, JT... When are you gonna get your doctorate? Fucking never. I what do, do you mean never? Be... You have to get one now. <laughs> Look. Look here. I don't... Look, no. I listen. Don't... <laughs> Stop. Look and listen. Just... Stop, children. What's that sound? Everybody, know <laughs> what's going? <down. laughs> I don't even know where we're going and what we're doing. We're supposed oh, to find... We're, we're supposed to find, to uh, lead ore and shit. What? Yeah, it's part of this, uh, side quest and whatnot, but, you know, we haven't really gotten, uh... Any progress. We haven't gone anywhere, because we keep walking in circles, talking, and shooting stuff. Um... I don't mean to walk around in circles. We got half the time we might as well just be doing a podcast. <laughs> well, I, I, I just kind of choke it up to the game because, like, the shooting stuff is the mindless part. That's yeah. fair, but, um, either way. This map kind of reminds so, me of Pikmin, which is coming out in a few days, actually. Is that, wasn't that the 27th? 21st. 21st. Oh, brother. And you know something, JT? Huh. I'm not even finished Tears of the Kingdom yet. So fucking goddamn another random I mean, battle. Look, I, might, I might technically be finished with Diablo 4. Oh, okay. Well, you know you know what you can do, JT, right? Boy. Just put it on the back burner. 
So here's the thing. Um, I was down to play more, right? I wanted to. But, like, they came out with patch notes earlier today, and I'm like, ooh, I don't want to play that. Hmm. You know what I'm playing, actually? What? So aside from the System Shock remake and Tears of the Kingdom, I also got uh, My Friendly Neighborhood today. Which I, I guess I apparently pre-purchased? I hope you made your piece. Huh. You somehow got it when you got the demo and shit. Yeah. So, I, so, it's, so, Zig, Zig was watching me play it before we even got to, you know, streaming and whatnot. Yeah. It's kind of like System Shock, almost, or by, like. With the way, like, the, with the way, like, the inventory and everything works. Mm. It's like Resident Evil meets System Shock. It's really cool. But the System Shock, the System Shock remake's pretty cool. Like, I love running around with, like, the little spark gun and, like, just fucking lighting up pieces of shit as soon as they turn the corner. I'm like, ah! <laughs> yeah. Like, they made a fun, they made a fun game out of a fun game. Say, so yeah, what, what, what's your story with, uh, Diablo 4, JT? <clears throat> So, um, they're coming out with, like, a big, you know, oh, new season, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, get your, get your shit, right? Game on, you get know, your um, game on. Oh, the battle pass is coming out. Oh, new, new, new post-campaign ca uh, content. New, new type of gear, right? Give, oh, that's give a us shotgun. your time. Mm -hmm. Um, hey, 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 Blizzard. Game on, get your hey, Blizzard. game on. Right? I have a question for you, Blizzard. Alright. Why did every class get nerfed? Oh. Oh. Why did you nerf every source of EXP besides the type of... type of, uh... Besides specifically high-tier Nightmare Dungeons? Uh, hey, Blizzard. We're Blizzard. Why did you reduce <clears throat> crit damage and, vulner and vulnerability damage, uh, damage across the board? We're Blizzard. Hey Blizzard. So wait, where do we gotta go for like the uh I for the lead? I really don't know to be quite honest with you. It's just said uh, pick up lead ore and whatnot, so I guess it just drops like, you know where the Hold fuck on, ever. Let me let me let me open the journal. Uh oh, it doesn't say where. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, we could go to we can do the goblins tired of forced depression. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do, let's go. Go to Mount Craw. Follow me. I don't oh, know. Or works. at least follow the blue, uh, whatchamacallit, the waypoint. Follow the waypoint all the way back to the start of it. Nah. <laughs> um, I'm lost. Oh, yes, I'm lost. I remember. Don't worry, I'm, I'm on my way there. But you know, I've not been I've not been disappointed with any of my video game purchases this year so far. You know what I'm uh, glad that I actually got uh, working again and whatnot. What? Mm. So uh. Oh, there's some or or and uh Mount Craw and shit. But yeah. <laughs> I know I talked about this a little bit on, like, you know, the stream and whatnot, but, uh, I was able to, uh, get The Sims 4 working, uh, you know, <laughs> fully modded and shit like that. And, and I know, Fuck I know yeah. Zig shared me a screenshot of J, of JT at the embarrassing costume part, the embarrassing screenshot of JT at the costume party. Yeah. You wanna Yo, see it? hold on, hold on. One, obviously. Two, I got a, I got a hilarious story involving The Sims. Technically, two in hilarious. Oh, I saw. Yeah, right? you know what's funny is I saw you playing yeah. The Sims the other day. So I was playing. I am a very strong advocate. Of Sims Three is better than Sims Four. Right. Yeah. yeah um, no. I. I, I want to get. I no do you longer... need JT? Do you need Origin to play The Sims Three? The Sims Three, no. 
Okay. Okay, cool. I might just buy that then and mod the shit out of that because I ain't get. I, I want to get four because it's free. But. Okay. I, um. I'm going it to may be free, too. but there's a whole lot of DLC that ain't. Yeah, like that's the thing. Yeah, Half the game um, is like locked. <laughs> just get The Sims 3 at this point. No, dude. well, let's not say that. Okay. Um, I say that because <laughs> um, somehow it broke. Oh. Like, I, I cannot run the game anymore. Oh. So you're saying EA, EA broke the game? I'm not saying that, but I'm also not saying that it's impossible. I'm just saying I cannot run the game anymore. And Amanda, who literally bought the game like a week ago, cannot run the game anymore. Quick question, did you, quick question, oh, did you upgrade to uh, Windows? I've ran the game on Windows 11 before. It, it did not matter until Adder. Who needs Candied Island? It's safer at the docks. Mm. But, but yeah, so... Just pull out, only say play four on account of... On account of we can't... I don't know what the fuck's going on with three, and I don't want to... And I don't want you to buy it and then have to... Immediately refunded, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I get no, I get what you're saying. Um But as a so um the last time I was able to play a Sims 3, right? I can, wait a minute, I got a unique weapon off of like a random encounter. That happens. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Last rights. So sap sucker of the shrike ain't a unique, but wait, 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 wait up! I'm Sorry, still selling guys. my shit. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. So um, we're, we're just gonna stand here for the time being. Yeah. Let me let me finish telling them. Let me tell them. So yeah, me and Amanda ahead. made made Sims together, right? Like not not like and we're just you know comment on like what each other Sims are doing that kind of shit, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. So I made a Sim named Daniel Fridge. <laughs> um, I made him this fucking like loser ass fucking overweight dude. Yeah. Just making sure I didn't say any unique weapons. <laughs> and I made I gave him the loser trait, right? Mhm. Mm Motherfucker, first time he ever ever cooked anything. Um, he 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 burned. He tried to almost burned down the house. Whenever oh, you're wow. down, whenever you feel like kicking out the trash, Look, you just do. hold on before you burn the house um, down. Oh. <laughs> um, what happened was, you know, eventually, eventually the game, like, the game had a glitch where like, yeah. I completed an opportunity. And then they kept making the like, do 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 do. You completed an opportunity noise, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. So I restarted the game, and as I tried to boot uh -huh. it back up, it would not boot back up. Bro, shit. Ooh. And then the next day, Amanda was still playing The Sims 3, and then she closed it, and I'm like, oh, let me try fixing it again real quick. And she goes, oh, let me reopen mine real quick. And she did that, and then it would not, and the same thing happened to her. Oh. I wouldn't put it so past EA to cripple that Daniel Fridge broke um broke the Sims 3. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past EA to fucking cripple the game so that people just go to the fucking Sims 4. Like I'm I'm a simple man. I'm a simple man. I the only like I said the only reason why I don't want the Sims 4 is the same reason why I won't play uh like Dead Space 3 on PC. And that's because it requires Origin, and until Origin goes away, I ain't touching the shit out of those games. I don't think you require Origin to play Sims 4. You... You have to get, like, EA's fucking, like, desktop and stuff, uh, desktop thing. 
Yeah. But even then, but even then, to be quite honest with you, you don't even have to get like an account and shit. You just need to have like it up and just like not even like even fucking deal with it afterwards and shit. Like. Are you really so? Yeah, you, you don't have to do a lot with EA. Yeah. That's my. That's like. That's my two cents about it and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, let me tell you about the new sim I made in Sims 4, right? Yeah. This is the cousin of Daniel Fridge, Frankie Fridge. <laughs> now, now, you know, here's the real question, right? If, if, if you played The Sims 4 and then the game never fucking, like, you know, crashed after you made him, I think that, I think that's evidence enough that EA crippled the game. Yeah, well, Frankie Fridge is different than Daniel Fridge, right? He's Frankie a winner. Fridge. Frank, Frankie Fridge is a, uh, he's, he's, he's not the, he's not a winner, he is the, uh, he is the one the winner tries to kill. He is a bad oh, okay. guy in this story. Um, Frankie Fridge is the, is the god king of mischief. Probably the rudest motherfucker I've ever played in a video game. Huh. Um, I, I have a, I have a goal to um, ruin everyone's life I possibly can as Frankie Fridge. Honestly, that reminds me of one character I actually made in The Sims 4, who was basically just a straight up like mad villain and all that shit. Do you know what? You know what he did? You know what he's in the process of doing? What? What? He is currently in the pro. So he, the first person he <laughs> met, right? His name yeah. was Joffrey Landgrab. Oh, I know about Joffrey. You remember Joffrey? What's your opinion of Joffrey? Um, this is mostly like my whole fucking like take on like the land grabs as a whole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basic bitches, um, you know. Y'all, y'all ain't take, y'all may have my fucking money and shit cause you own the fucking like, you know, power company and all that crap. But you still all basic bitches who like you know, who who your fucking patriarch you like, looks like I take Bill you, Gates. I take it you're not a fan of Joffrey. Fucking corpo families. Hey, Galaxy. Yeah. Hey. Dude. Cannot um, hear right well, now. Guess what? Joffrey might good. have your money. But it's all good, Galaxy. What? His wife's child. Oh. oh. Wait. What you do? Um. I first of all found Joffrey on the street, beat the fuck, See you, beat the fuck out of him, right? Later. Oh, beat the shit out of him, right? He hit, like, uh -huh. made, declared him my mortal enemy. Then I found his wife and seduced her. Oh, you fucking silver tongued devil, you. Um, then right. As yeah. soon as she, as soon as I convinced her, to, like I didn't ever propose. But as soon as I convinced her have, to have my child, right? I, I, uh, I, I plan on effectively trying, uh, keep trying for a kid, right? The second yeah. she's pregnant, cold turkey, never, talk, never talking to her again. Oh. You know, you know, J, JT, uh -huh. Zig had an illegitimate son in, um, The Sims 4. <laughs> you seriously gonna fucking out me like this? I'm not gonna say who it was to. We was it Nancy Landgrab? No, no, it was it, it was another fucking like you know custom character that I made and shit. Oh lord. But um, hold on, I'm not saying though. But it's but it's what? gonna be it's plot relevant. We're telling a story with this. Yeah. Oh god. I can but, talk um, about like the fucking. I can talk about like the whole fucking intricacies about like. This Cause we all we all, we all have, that. we all have like fucked up stories happen in this shit. Am I am I am I finding someone? Am I finding someone nice in the JT, same version? I thought we told you. I thought we told you. You live with uh Peyton, and Mutter, and um, th they're essentially like children, and they're essentially like your children or something. There's a man yeah, that, children that, that live in your fucking, like, you know, house with you and whatnot, and they may, might have jobs, t 
too and shit like that, but you're like the most responsible one out of all. <laughs> that makes sense. You're, fry, you're, you're Frylock you're living with two meat wads. Um, I gave you a goofball. Okay. Um, I'll have to boot it up again just to remember like what the other three were. But and I JT, you wear clown makeup shit. almost everywhere. Yeah. Wasn't there a wasn't there a dream goal to like make it so that like is it wasn't it like best writer best author or better best writer best painter or something like that? Um, yeah, something like that. I've become I've become a I've become a world famous comedian in the in it so far. Fuck yeah. And, um, a, pretty, and a best selling author. And I have a girlfriend in the sim. <laughs> yeah. Am I am I am I am I single in the Sims? Yes. Um. Yeah, but you you we'll, we'll look for love for you and whatnot. There's a romance festival now. Now with one of the DLCs. That I know I that I know that uh, because Z Zig had a romance going on, but then another character like stole his girl. Yeah. Uh, and the good. funny thing is. So she's best friends, she's best friends with, uh, my Sims girlfriend, right? And the funny thing is, we made the whole joke, like, what is, what is she seeing me? What do you see in the- <laughs> she stops. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, the fucking- Like, like, J J JT, the mods that we got installed, or, like, the mods that are installed are fucking insane. Like, yeah. there, there's killers that come out. We have killers, we have cannibals, we have fucking burglars and shit. Yeah. There, there, like, so far, there's a detective story going on. Uh, we gotta find the murderer and all that shit. Mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, everybody's being like a goofball. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> and like the fucking murderer is going around killing everybody, and we have various characters that from the streams and whatnot, like check and vods are there. Yeah, your oh, children God. are there too. Good, my children. And they're lawyers, so you know. Also good. Um, they're, they're doing God's work. I like to imagine one's like a one's like a finance lawyer and the other's like uh there's like a defense attorney. Um, they're they're just they're just um clerk assistants right now and whatnot. You know what they're I mean? working on it. They're working on it. They're working their way up. What what I like, what what I'm gonna say like, we don't have free beep yet, but it's gonna be like hard to get like a fucking yeehaw translated into fucking The Sims. Yeah. Oh god. But, uh, we also have, like, you know, we've also had, like, a big bad that's, like, you know, died and come back, like, albeit as, like, different sims and all that, you know what I'm saying? And then there's gonna be a third bad guy in the seat, there's gonna be another bad guy in season three. Yeah. Oh, God. Like, like, no, but we, no, but we've had, like, character redemptions and shit. Yeah, like, Johnny Zest and whatnot, you know, the fucking yeah. other comedian and shit. Yo, not Johnny Zest, I ruined his life. <laughs> Ever we no! We did too! We did too, but he made a comeback! He yeah. lived with Teddy from Bob's Burgers! And then he, he joined a gang and fucking, like, you know... He, tr he tried to ruin, like... Fucking Teddy's life and all that shit. Yeah, because he was because like under the influence of the bad guy because he lived with him. Yeah. But like we were both like, no, like he can't be fucking, you know. It's like after a while, it's just like you know. <laughs> it gets tired, even like it, 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 instead of doing what Joel did, where he just made him like a fucking like emo villain. Like the Joker and whatnot. Like dark zest and shit. Yeah, like. Nah, he fucking rede he has an adopted son now. Daughter. Oh, well, he got an adopted kid anyway. Yeah. He's got a he's got a girlfriend. Yeah. They're gonna get married. And I, I, I did. Also, you wanna know who the biggest whore in town is, uh, JT? Biggest whore in town? Biggest whore. Oh god, who's got the? Who's Cause got I the have a prostitution on? mod and whatnot. Peter Griffin. I'll 
And the thing is, too, it's not like I actually, like, you know, did, made any effort to, like, do, like, any sort of, like, you know, accurate thing and shit. No, I, I, there's also a mod that, like, gives you, gives him, like, the Peter Griffin skin and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Oh, That's, like, God. very fucking, like, you know. Like, you, like, JT, we have to show you. It's the greatest fucking, whatchamacallit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you That's what I said. It's the greatest it's the greatest fucking um sitcom out there. It's the greatest sitcom fucking soap opera, whatever you wanna fucking call it and what the only good soap it's the only good soap opera. We're not tracking ammo, are we? What is the soap what does soap mean in soap opera? Um it, from what I remember? Off the top of my head, it's because you know, um, back in the day, these soap operas used to be, you know, fucking sponsored, sponsored by, you know, like, you know, um, soap, soap brands companies. And oh my yeah. god! Oh. All right, all right, J Zig. What soap? What soap would sponsor Meme House? Would you think? Hmm. That's a good question. I, I feel I feel like it's either head and shoulders or fucking um what was the meme axe. what was the meme one? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, axe so I was gonna say old spray. Not, not like any of the fucking sprays. Just soap apartment. Yeah. Fucking, they have like um, I, I don't know. Some weird gamer soap. I don't know. We like. By the way, we added like there's the greased up deaf guy from Family Guy living in the city too. You're never gonna take me. You know what? I should have Peter Griffin visit the greased up. Deaf should we? Guy. Like, should we? Should we just keep spoiling like JT on it, or should he come in one day and like take a look at this? Um, if he wants to come in one day and look at this and whatnot, you know. JT, do you want us to keep telling you, or, um... Keep telling, keep telling. So there's John Madden. Yeah. Um... And he's, and he's accompanied by, like, two security guards, like, almost every time he goes out. I, I know he's not, but due to, because of the story, I always like to think John Madden is legally your father. <laughs> uh, uh. If only. If only. <laughs> I, I, I was going to suggest putting my fucking parents in, but I'm like, no. Nah. No. Fuck that shit. Fuck that like, noise, even, if they, even if they were I, I homeless- didn't even put my, I didn't even put my fucking folks in there and whatnot. You know even what if I mean? they were homeless on the street or something. No, okay. Um, that's, that's petty wish fulfillment, and I don't think that's healthy. <laughs> yeah. Even though Honestly, I think that... uh, who else do I have in there? Um, I'll tell you who the big bad of, like, you know, fucking season one, one was and shit. Uh. And, you know, who the basic, like, who basically was the deus ex machina of, like, the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now, JT. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. I'm gonna bust you up, Plum Thumb! I've heard that line. Where the fuck is it from? <laughs> I only said that because the fucking uh, dude sound like that. Yeah. Can you get up here? Oh, we can. I'm gonna bust you up, Plum Thumb, and wear your clothes! JT, it was, it, Alex from fucking Yik was the villain of yeah. season one. Oh my god. And the thing is, too, is like, we have, I have like a fucking a mod that like makes like superheroes and supervillains and shit like that. You know what I mean? And Kenshiro beat the shit out of him. Yeah, Kenshiro from uh, Fist of the North Star. Good. Then, um, whatchamacallit.
And, and now the now the hero is like the TCL wizard. Yeah. We also have we also have uh, Jamiroquai and fucking um. R.L. Stein. R.L. Stein living they're, together. The roommates. Yeah. Cookie yeah, <laughs> burger. <laughs> I love this weird world we made. Burgers. Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> I love this real world. But I love this like weird world that's in this game. I know. But we don't add, like we we don't add like characters every five seconds so. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, and there's also like fucking like, you know, Kiryu only, and Majima and shit. Only when it's like really funny and good, like, idea. Yeah. Spice it up, you know, you gotta spice up the season and whatnot. You know, the yeah. funny thing is too, like, earlier on and shit like that, we did have like the Flintstones and whatnot. As like, you know, these uh, fucking swingers and shit, you know what I mean? Didn't they die? Not as swingers. Yeah. The, yeah, they died because I forgot to turn off the fucking, um... <laughs> I forgot to turn off, like, aging in that goddamn game, so everybody just kept, like, getting old and all that shit. Now, now... That's what happened to the fucking Flintstones and whatnot. They all died from old, old age, and then Betty just, like, fucking, like, you know... Um, I'm not gonna say it because, you know, TOS and shit. We, we were... Well, we're not... We were... We have Teddy from Bob's Burgers, but we're not gonna put the rest of the Belcher family in there. Yeah. The joke is that because you stopped going to the restaurant, they're like homeless now somewhere. Yeah. Oh god. I I know someone calculated how much like how much money the Belcher has made. I want someone to calculate approximately how much money Teddy has spent in the in the establishment. You know that is a good fucking question. <laughs> Me like. Now, now, Zig, considering yeah. that, you know, like, what, what we're gonna have at the ending of, like, season three with, like, you know, Richard season discover- two. Season two with Richard discovering who the killer is and getting his license back and everything, right? Yeah. I think- I think that he- like, you know, they, they should move back into the city after that. Oh, yeah, because I do have the city living, uh, mod and sh I mean, not mod, uh, expansion and shit like that, so. So, like, you know, they go back to the city, and then we can have, like, the fucking detective boys and shit. Yeah. The little, like, you know, the little crew that, like, the, you know. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. I'll do that and whatnot. And then, you know. Fucking doctor and god. You know who could live in the house, too? Like, because, well, you know who could move in, maybe? Conan? No, well, no, like, the whole, well, you know, Richard fucking... I was gonna say, Agasa and Hyber could live in the fucking, uh, the old house or whatever. Yeah. Because they live in a house and some shit. Uh-huh. But then, like, you know, the, the, the rest of the detective boys are in the city and whatnot. You know, the whole shit. Right. Yeah, no, I get you. I expand on, expand on the select... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love how fucked up this story is. <laughs> yeah, all because Richard lost his fucking detective license and has to work as a fucking retail worker and shit. <laughs> He's getting back. He he for he forebode he for he for what he foregoed booze to get to get this shit going here. Oh cool, the sharks are back. I love them. Oh god, the dogfish. The, the, these these got like no, these guys got like some really cool like designs. I wish they were in like other games. I wish there was like a land. I wish there was like well, technically there is, but you know what I mean. Fallout land shark, that type of shit. Yeah. Yeah, no, I gotcha. <laughs> but but yeah, no, JT. The, this game is like th like this fucking thing is like insane. Yeah. So yeah, the Dexter's family's in the game. Mm -hmm. Like Dexter's and Dexter's lab? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. And that's gonna be that's gonna be like a whole that's gonna be a whole thing. But eh. 
How do you add that many sims to the same to the like same town? Well, it's not like no, they no, they don't live in the same town. Like, there's different towns that they live in. Yeah. Like, there's still like there's still remember the game still generates random sims from like other places and places and whatnot. Mm -hmm. and, like new families move in when they die. Like, that's the only reason why fucking like the villain is able to go on his rampages. Yeah. No, I get shit. Oh, shit, Mary, you're dying. Oh, you're back. Oh, I just follow us and... But yeah, no. I think that, I think we covered everybody, right? Yeah, that's basically. The guys you from. Know. Oh wait, yeah, the the uh, Angus, Greg, B, and oh, uh, Angus, Greg, B, and May from Night in the Woods also live in the town too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Along with our shy gal mechanic. And checking bods. Yes. Baldar the gas leak. So, I think I think that we had the floor a lot with this spit. Yeah, I think there's something. Do something in the winds. Oh man, it's been a fucking while. Hope you're ready for this one. Especially you, JT. Welcome in, everyone. To JT's coffee corner. So JT, what what you got for us? So JT, what you got for us today? Like theme song play? Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. You didn't oh, hear it? God damn it! I did not. It's fine. <laughs> JT selective hearing. <laughs> Let's go. I don't have selective hearing. His newly his newly acquired selective hearing. Let's go. Oh, God, please no. <laughs> um, go right ahead, JT. The floor is yours. All right. So, as uh, as promised, I did it. I uh, I found effectively closest thing to the Homestuck audiobook I could find. Oh, you're not reading it. You're listening. <laughs> I, I'm like watching slash listening. Okay. I thought this was like a fucking. You're looking into this like deep dive. Like, I am doing a bit of. I am doing outside research. But I, the main focus is the actual, like, writing itself. Yeah. Um... So, JT, how uh, was home- so how was, uh, half-assed home- no, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. So... I- I am breaking it up into- into segments. So, we'll mm -hmm. part- we'll, we'll- I'll say I got through roughly the first half of Act 2. Okay. Holy do not ask. shit! Do not ask. How many hours ask. is that? Hours of uh, not a lot. JT. I'm, yeah. Let me. What? How did you get through half of the first act of Homestuck? Like <laughs> through through um. It only took about an hour. Here's the thing. How many acts of Homestuck do you think there are? Aren't there like twelve? Or something. That's a, that's, hmm. You know, not fully sure. Yeah. But um, it was not a lot. We're gonna have to. I I, I watched, like I said, I watched basically five parts of the guys' video uh, series, right? <laughs> So we start off with our humble protagonist, who we we tried to name, um, we tried to name Zeus Lord, uh, Poophead or something like that. Yeah. But it turns out, you know, he didn't like the name, so he got the true name of John Egbert. It's a very interesting game. Um, and it is John's 13th birthday. Mm-hmm. 
um, where he quickly basically figures out how the fuck things work. <coughs> Almost as if he was born, like, literally born that day. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting an explanation on Homestuck. <laughs> Get used to it. <laughs> this is gonna be the coffee corner for the next 200 fucking streams. Let's go. Hopefully not. <laughs> You were saying? Okay, JT, continue. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I sent a text. Oh, God. Um, you're anyway. fine. You're fine. So, um, well, where do you guys go? I, I got, okay, you guys are over there. Thank you. Yeah, I am. Yeah, because I would just follow the, uh, whatchamacallit and shit. Yeah, I get you. So, okay. So, um, we, we, we see, we see John. We get to know his interests quickly. He likes, um, he likes general Tom fuckery. Likes goofs uh -huh. and gaffs. Yeah. He likes, uh, he's a, he's a aspiring magician. He mm -hmm. likes bad movies. Yeah. Um, specifically, I think Nick Cage was mentioned a couple times. Huh. Um. But you know that, that's that's here nor there. But we we you know we get to know the guy, and he we find out that he's waiting for the beta of the hip new game Suburb. What's it called? Suburb or Suburb? Suburb. Pronounced like suburb, but like spoken quickly. Suburb. 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 Yeah, suburb. suburb. Okay. Is it? Is it the video game ad adaptation of the 1989 movie The Burb starring Tom Hanks? <laughs> you know, I wish it was. Um, so, uh... You were we saying? See, we see John basically figure out, okay, how am I gonna get my game? It's probably in the mailbox. Yeah. Um, we also see that he basically has a, like a, like a, kind of like a really weird choose your own adventure style inventory. Yeah, that part that he I... Does not, that he does not know how it works fully. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I remember basically, it being called like a capture log or some yeah, shit. Yeah, capture log. Capture log. So, I, I, so how I, John's current one works is basically uh, he cannot access anything except for the last thing you put in, and if he puts in too many things, the last one gets ejected out of his pocket. Right. Okay. Um, a lot of what I watched today was him fumbling around with that. <laughs> <laughs> for both some funny, some, um, you know. Yeah. Okay, we get it. Cause what, yeah, wasn't like, wasn't it like a choose your own adventure type thing like ages so ago? It, at one, so at one point, it kind of was. Yeah, that's... Where, in the beginning, basically the, the creator made a, put a bunch of options of what John can do, and then they voted on it. Yeah. Um, I don't remember how long that lasts. I'm pretty sure it stops around the time of the trolls. Mm -hmm. Oh, But that, that's far later. We'll get to them when we get to them. That's a, that's a, those, the trolls are their own topic. Right. So we do actually see, um... The trolls need their own fucking coffee corner. <laughs> no, each troll could get a character dissection, except for probably Aradia. Oh, so, when do we get to Frisk? <laughs> Frisk deserves... Oh, Lord, <laughs> there have been essays about Briska. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm going to, when Briska shows up, and I'm, when, every time Briska does anything, I want, I'm going to repose the question, hey, guys, did Briska do anything wrong? <laughs> yes. I don't um, know. I never read it, and I don't care. The, 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 okay, so, like, it, it, the, do you, are you a man who believes the ends justify the means? Um, depends. Do you believe in getting, do you believe in an eye for an eye? 
Sometimes, I yeah. I the world blind. No, I agree with that. So I'm asking Nick. Sometimes? Like I said, it really does depend on the situation. Okay, so... I don't know if you would believe Riska did nothing wrong, but some of the things she did wrong you might be able to just slightly justify. Um... Okay. But either way, that's, that's like act fucking four through whatever. And you're nowhere near there yet. <laughs> yeah. So throughout throughout John's throughout John's adventure, right? Yeah. He gets he gets DMs from his from his buddies, right? Mm -hmm. And this is where, to me, I actually think the writing is good. It's like at least decent. Like, th there is a fuck ton of narration in home stuff, and I and I do not like. It. I get why they do it. I get the artistic choice, but like that's a, 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 a not for me type, of thing, right? Yeah. Um, but like where the dialogue comes in is, in my opinion, where it's actually kind of good. So, so John DMs his buddy, who I don't think we know the name of yet, but like I know his name, so I'm gonna say it. I just got a question, are you gonna go and, like, deep dive into, like, the fandom stuff, too, and, like, where this kind of, like, goes, and all the weird, t all the weird twists and turns, or... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to try and, like I said, the focus of this is, is on the exact story itself. Now, as someone who was a part of the fandom for a while, obviously I'm going to know some of what the fandom has done. However... I will try and keep the main topic of my discussion to the to, to the text itself while throwing in some historical context. Oh god, it's killing you, JT. <laughs> no, I'm just sick. Regardless, right? Um What was I saying? Yeah. Um, so, um, one of the characters, characters who we, I don't know who was named yet, but I know his name. Uh, one of John's good buddies, Dave Strider, right? Yeah. He, he in, in the time that I've read, interacts with John a lot. Hey guys, I found a, uh, die. Oh, cool. And I think has some fucking, like, him and John's interaction for me was the highlight of what I read. There were some fucking funny-ass lines. Hit it. Um... So, um, one bit of context before I say this line that I really liked yeah. was, um, John's dad, there's still more story bits I have to go over, but one that I, one that I should go over real quick so I can just explain this joke is John's dad, uh, really likes man, uh, Harlequins. Uh-huh. Like, he has, like, paintings of them on the wall and shit, right? This sounds like my nightmare. Um, so, D so Dave, his buddy, d goes, Oh, man, your birthday sucks right now. Oh, you even have to fucking suffer through all those, those clowns on the wall. And then, yeah. and then John goes, No, those are my father's. And then Dave goes, I'm talking about Nick Cage. Ooh. And I'm just like, okay, at least, I, I, I thought that was funny, at least. Hmm. Okay. Granted, granted, I, 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 uh, I, I, I'm much more accustomed to a time of, um, of uh, fucking with Nick Cage and just being funny, but either way. Yeah. So, um, he fucks with his Capatulog, right? Uh-huh. Um, keeps going around, keeps figuring it out. He equips a hammer, and that is now his permanent weapon type for the rest of his life. Okay. Um, what else? So, he has to, so now, right, he's going downstairs, mm -hmm. trying to avoid his father, because he doesn't want to basically, he doesn't want to have to spend, like, hours getting, like, dad joked and, and chored and shit on his birthday. Mm -hmm. He also doesn't want to have to eat another fucking cake, because we see in his room there's, like, five of them shits. Five cakes? No, there were like six, there were like there were like at least three cakes 
three separate cakes in his room. That's all he ate that day. He fucking hated it. Oh my god. How the fuck do you not have diabetes after that? Um, well, it was just because it, it, it was his birthday. Okay. So his dad just kept making birthday cakes. Okay. <laughs> but, um... So, he looks all around, he cannot find... He can't find shit, right? Mm -hmm. Um... Eventually he gets in the kit. Eventually he finds the kitchen where th that has both his game and and his father. Oh, does anybody have? Does anybody want this banner pattern tooth and claw? Uh, I think I already own that. I dropped it out here anyway. Oh, all right. But um, so as I was saying. Mm -hmm. Um. So he gets into a fight with his dad. Or yeah. basically, his um, his father parried his hammer attacks with a cake. Not even joking. And the um, and oh, there's a dice up here. Ooh. Yeah, the father, the father parried the hammer attack of the cake, and, um, up the ladder. and, the cake. and, um, John rejected the cake, because he, because the fucking hunch is eating it, but eventually, he, he mm -hmm. smoke bombs the room on accident, fuck, yeah. um, and then, you go, JT, you hit it, yeah. Cool. Nice. Hey, smoke spawn. He smokes spawn in the room, grabs the game, and goes right. Yeah. Um, the game was his birthday. Get oh wait, no, it was in his mailbox. Yeah. He eventually realizes that today is going to be a weird day. As yeah. as the game installs. Now I I of course skimmed over some other details. Overall, what I have read wasn't bad. The the narration can drag on, but mm -hmm. again, that could be a preference thing. The dialogue is honestly not half bad. Um, we also get to see one of my favorite char characters appear here early on, but you know, by, uh, right, view, viewer bi viewer bias. Um. What was I say? Um, there were the. It also has some good like. The, the, it knows that like half of its viewers are are like ironically liking this, uh -huh. and it plays on like the irony of what's going on a lot. Yeah. So like, um, that the, the character Dave as I mentioned earlier, right? Mhm. Mm um. He got his copy of the of the of suburb, but isn't playing yeah. it due to it getting due to it getting a bad review on um, on a fake on basically a, a fake you know game review website called get called uh or not what's it like magazine called I think it's called Gamer Bro. Yeah. <laughs> the article, the article which you could read out it's a full it's a full fledged like article, basically read out. Yeah, I don't know what kind of city builder this game is, but I'm but like I don't like city builders, so fuck this oh. game. I never, I didn't even play it. So it's just like an IG, so like an actual IGN. It's like yeah. an IGN review, but the guy is like up front about being like, hey, I didn't even play this game. <laughs> oh, like, that's sure, horrible. Sure he literally like, hey, I'm sure this is someone's jam, but when you get to thrash shit, they told a story when do about it. Yeah, exactly. Why you play baby games? Why no shoot? Exactly. That's exactly. Um, we also get to hear um, the work of Toby Fox chained up in the basement. <laughs> what? 
So, um, Toby Fox genuinely composed some music for Homestuck while yeah. he was living in Andrew Hussey's basement. And in the time of Yeah, you wanted some history. I got you some history. I never um, knew that he lived in... I, all right, I know that ever. I know that everybody who like you know like when they think that they've come up with something like interesting, some random interesting theory to go with like fucking um, Undertale or something, they always bring up the Halloween hack that Toby Fox never wants anybody to talk about again, mm -hmm. because he hates it and like seriously, people fucking stop talking about it. And I only brought it up because it's relevant to this point. Right. But like, I never knew that he lived in Huss's basement. Oh yeah. Um. There's actually a reference to Homestuck in Undertale. Of course there is. <laughs> um, so one of the characters' last name is Pyro. Mm hmm And there's, a, there's an oh! Undertale enemy. Yeah, the Pyropes! There you go. For a second there, I thought oh, it was yeah. Flame's hot guy for a second. No, there's an enemy in Homestuck <laughs> called... Or Cold pyropes. Yeah. Well done. Grab that magic plane. Not like he needs it anymore. Um. That's Beretti. Flames hot guy. Oh, did we get the ring? Uh, no, you guys didn't. Alright, so yeah, JT, you were saying. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Did you write notes? I'm just curious. Heard? What did you say? Did you write notes? I'm just curious about this one. I wanted- I want- I meant to. I genuinely meant to. I planned on doing it next time. Especially if like, when like, acts get longer and more confusing, I play- I definitely want to do it. Yeah. So... We, yeah, there were two songs. Um... There's the Haunting Piano or Fane and Harlequin- and Har uh, Harlequin is it called? Mm -hmm. uh, both those songs fuck. Like I would actually like chill, like chill out and relax to that haunting piano refrain. Yeah. Um. So like music pop off. But like legitimately though, as of right now. It's not, like, I will go into, like, the fandom, I, like, especially during key, key moments of story. Mm-hmm. You know, like, the fucking four-year, or not four-year, like, a long-ass hiatus that happened somewhere I, in there. I can't wait, I can't wait till you get to the part where they talk about how, um, they fucking crashed new grounds with homes. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. The first thing to crash new grounds. Oh, boy. Look, I want I want to stress this. My main concern with these coffee corners is judging Homestuck not on its fandom, but of the quality of its own of its actual work. And that's I, fair enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? That that yeah. will obviously I have my own biases that you tend to. I am I am fully aware that it's a little hard to do consistently. I only I only bring it up because like it's a sil it's a silly like thing that has to do with it, it's a part of it you know. I get that. It's, it's all it's all a part of its history. Yeah, yeah. No, I knew I, I knew a few I knew a few homestuckies in high school, but I, I you know I didn't understand anything about it. It's it's like oh yeah no same here like I knew a guy and you know I knew a guy and every time I asked him like what the fuck is homestuck he never gave me a fucking straight ass answer and shit. Ooh. Like, yeah, let me, no, let me, that's very common with Homestuck fans. Let me tell you, let me tell and you. You know what? That was me. I asked he's somebody. Actually doing, he's actually living a good life right now. He, he married his high school uh, sweetheart and all that good shit. You know what I mean? Did, did she read Homestuck too? <laughs> yeah, he, you know what? No, they're, they're, they're like, you know, they're very fucking close and shit. So I wouldn't be surprised if she did too. Oh my god. That's you know cute in a fucked way. They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're honestly one of the sweetest people I've ever fucking met in my life. Oh yeah, the power oh. of the home stuckies, let's go. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, no, Homestuck is a, is a, it's a, it's a fucking thing. Yeah. Oh my lord. Also, he used to touch my face a lot. I don't know why he just did. Like, like I said, I, like I said, I don't, I don't want to like, you know, judge the whole thing based off of like the fandom neither. But yeah. the fan, I found a, I found a die. The fandom is the funniest part of this whole scenario. Oh, I'm not denying that. But I want, like I said, I don't want the actions of the fandom to, to, ju to change my opinion of the text. Yeah, you have to have. You have to have, you, you need the work to stand out on its own merits and shit, and not have like you know. Those who fucking you know, read it and whatnot, like cloud your judgment and all that shit. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause if like that were the case, then I wouldn't be fucking. I wouldn't be playing like you know a lot of like you know. I wouldn't be playing like a lot of things or you know be doing a lot of shit with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Fucking Friday Night Funkin' wouldn't be. <laughs> Yeah, uh, even though, like, e even so, like, I still, I still have, you know, I still think, I, The know, fandom, look, the fandom makes me not want to wear, like, a shirt in public, but... Fuck that noise, I'll still wear my Pico shirt. Well, the Pico, well, Pico has his own fucking, you know, thing. You know what True, I mean? True, yeah. Like, you can, you can divorce Pico from fucking, you know, FNF. Though, like I said, yeah. there probably would be some random little kid that'd be like, Oh, you get Pico from FNF on your Listen, shirt. Merrick, Merrick. Halloween 2021, the first trick-or-treater I got was a kid dressed up as boyfriend from, you know, <laughs> FNF. Wait, no, that's sick as fuck. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Well, that, yeah. and that was, like, before it was, like, right. That was, like, just before it was yeah. rising in, like, popularity, so. I... Honestly, I'd say it's like just about like as it reached, as it was like reaching its zenith and all that crap. You know what I mean? Like, like look, like, like never, like I said, never judge a thing off of its fandom because, like, if you look at yeah. the Star Wars fandom, there's fucking crazy people on every side, like me. Yeah, I was just going to say. Yeah. Oh. I, I there's crazy people at, at every side. Like me. Fucking, let me tell you something, right? Let me oh, tell you boy. something, right? Fucking, fucking, I hate, I hate Star Wars fans with a burning passion. You know why I hate Star Wars fans with a burning passion? And I am one. Because there's so many fucking, like, douchebags, and I mean, like, racist douchebags, and not just racist douchebags, but racist douchebags that are also sexist, homophobic, and all this other bullshit, that mm -hmm. want the same stuff as me, but they pl but they plug up their ears and pretend like there aren't gay characters and stuff in Star Wars before the Disney purchase. So, uh, there's that whole fucking, there's that whole fucking bullshit. I found another die. Okay, cool. <laughs> And, and, like I said, the, the only people that seem to give a shit about this are the people who only like the sequel trilogy and everything that Disney does, and I don't like them neither because they're fucking idiots who like bad writing, and I'm sorry if you like it. You too bad, you know what I mean? Good for you. I'm glad you can enjoy it, but I can't. And if you're not a crazy fan, you're cool in my book. Cause a lot of like, like I want to say like a lot of like the regular people who are in it don't fucking you know do anything about it. Anyway, fandom fandoms can be a bane, but don't have them be the ju don't have them be the sovereign on the fucking product. Look at the Sonic yeah. fandom as an example. Oh, I don't like talking to them. <laughs> what happened with that? What happened with you with them? N not a damn. That was a joke, but like, <laughs> I had in the club, right? These are still people I still try to talk to. Oh, one of them I talk, talk to you very, fre very frequently. There were two people in the club, right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. They would get in. One, and they, and they have like a deal. I'm pretty sure. They'd be like, "Look, we're not, we're not like, we're not hanging out outside of here, but." We are 100% Sonic Adventure 2 together, right here, right now. That's all and, they did. And they both, that's that's like, that was like a vast majority. Whenever they were both in the club together, the GameCube was taken. They got their corner. They were 100% Sonic Adventure 2. Every time? 
Uh, most of the time, at least. Doesn't they you... get old? Like, all right. It... I fucking love Sonic, but I can't play the same game over and over and over again. Nick? What? They were getting every S. Who are these people? Who are these people? Are they human? I remember. Um, one of them was getting a head start because they knew the other one was showing up soon. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I, I, was, I was like, I was, I was going to watch because I was like, fuck it, nothing else is going on. Um, he mm -hmm. turned on the, no, he turned on the Wii, he plugged it in, the game was running, and it goes, hey, don't you need the memory card? He looks at me wide-eyed and goes, oh, shit! He grabs his wallet, pulls out the memory card, it goes flying across, like, not the room, but, like, it goes flying to, like, the oh, side shit. of the room. Yeah, right? Hold up, JT, let's go to the cavern over here. Um, he has to, like, he fucking scrambles to pick it up and then put it back in the console. I found another the die, by the way. Floating. Wow. It was funny. Like, I just... like, 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 oh my god. I, yeah. like I said, I, I love Sonic. I love Sonic to death. But like, I'm, and I'm, I consider myself a fan. And I'm in the fandoms, I guess, you know. But I'm not gonna like, man, Sonic and Tails should fucking like make out in this game or whatever the frick. It's like. I'm I'm both surprised and upset that I was around you decided to go. I, I, Man, I would just wish Sonic would just take out a fucking Glock and shoot Eggman in the fucking head. I want Amy to peg Sonic the Hedgehog. God damn! I want I want Eggman to tickle Sonic's feet. Oh god damn. Uh oh that's, Please, that's a whole stop. One. Let's all stop before it gets even fucking It's already begun. You can't stop okay, it okay, now. Like, let's, 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 let's rewind a minute. Let's rewind a minute. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I have a weird world. relationship Wait, with, Sonic, with Sonic the Hedgehog because, like, if you yeah. asked me whether I liked the games, I would say yes. I don't think I've played a Sonic game I've liked in a long time. Wait, fucking really? Yeah. No, I'm surprised. I'm genuinely surprised. Really? None? Like, I think my tastes have just changed. Cause like, I like, look, I'm going to be 100%. I know Sonic Mania is a great game. Also guys, I, we, I, we forgot about this. Oh yeah, the uh, Sonic like, Mania. I know Sonic Mania is a great game. I right? didn't like it. I, I don't know what crazy about it either. I know it's, I know of it's quality. I want to yeah. argue. I want to argue. Yeah, it's quality, but it's not. It's not what I was looking for in the game. And that's fair. Yeah, cause like, let me let me tell you something. You want to know what I was looking for in it? Something more like advanced. Yeah, and I think that's what the new game is doing. So I'm probably gonna grab that when I can. So. To be fair, I I, I like. I, I don't think it's a bad game, I don't think it was what you were looking for in that circumstance. I think a lot of people were crying, they wanted to- they We wanted want Quash to kill on it! I- I- it, those people are like, fucking obnoxious. I- I- I'm sorry. Like, I ha- I- like, I have Sonic fan friends that aren't like that, thankfully. But like, like don't like those whiners, my dude, are just obnoxious. Oh, this game's bad. This game's bad. It's like, all right, all right. Has none of y'all have none of y'all like ever had to play a different? Have, have have every has every video game you've ever played in your life played the exact same? Right. I don't think it's that. I think they just want a specific experience from Sonic, and that's one they have not been getting. I remember like the number of like people going like, oh my god, this is the second coming. Like Sonic going back to classic, and I'm like, no, this is not. This is only just a game that they're releasing to like silence people. And then like, we're gonna get an actual like Sonic game, which we did with with Forces. But I liked Forces. I wouldn't recommend it. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna fucking lie. I liked it. I thought it was fine for what it was. It's not like. 
You're not getting like fuck. You're not getting like fucking game of the year. But like, Jesus Christ, people went ape shit with that game. Like, mm. like you want to talk like you want to talk about like video game insanity. There you go. Like me, me. Oh man, I got to make I got to make a funny Sonic OC. I got to make like a cool Sonic OC. Um, that's what I did. I made him, and then I had my fun with it. I got into it, you know, like together we can show the world what we can do. I like fucking infinite. I think the worst part of the game is the fact that Chaos doesn't get a boss fight and the Metal Sonic fight is like a load of hunk. But fucking, I don't know. There's something about the game where I'm like, I'm like, there's something about the game where I'm like, yeah, this fucking, you know, this yeah. is like fucking fun. Like I like I wish I could go I wish I could go like deeper in on it but I can't. Like liter like literally it's just that childlike sense of joy that I feel like a lot of people are like losing by the second. I say I can argue for like fucking frontiers uh being like that actual fucking quote unquote Sonic game or some shit like that, I'm not really sure. Oh, no, Frontiers was great. Like, illegitimate, like, legitimately fucking, like, something that was needed for, like, years. I know, I heard that game fucked. I never played it hate it. And, like, like I said, the people who hate on it, it, it like, let me, like, the only people who don't like a Krabby Patty have never tasted one. It's like, it, like, they're literally Squidward. I never liked the Sonic game and never will, but the, the, like, oh, this game sucks. It's like, did you play it? No. Like, how, <laughs> and it's not even, and it's not even like, you know, with the Krabby Patty. It's like, how can you say those words? And it's like, fucking, I know these people. They, they just do I, it. They just say it to take the piss. You know what about that now that I'm thinking about it? What? I think I'm of a very similar opinion with Zelda. Of me and... Also, I should say. Also, I should say this too. Mm -hmm. Jim Jim Sterling tried to spin their review like, "Oh, I was trying to save Sonic fans from buying this," but it's like, um, you do realize that the Sonic fans are enjoying this game, right, Matt? Right? Oh God! Like, like I said, like that was like one of the they put that on the worst games list of like twenty fucking. 2022 and i'm like yeah what the fuck this ain't the worst game of the year what the fuck you talking about there are listen there are worse things out there and whatnot than you know because i like i don't buy shit when i buy a game i i make sure i'm not buying shit what the hell is that up there it's like a glowing rainbow thing oh, it's a it's a marble oh there we go Oh god. Big dude. But yeah, like, um, fucking... Oh, we're on this fight, should we call it? Cause we're, we're getting the, it's about that time. Yeah, let's return the clap drop and I'm just like, you know. But yeah, you were saying about, um, Zelda, JT? Sorry for cutting you off about that. No, you're good. Um, I'm of a, I'm of a strangely similar opinion with Zelda, I think, where it's just like... I like Zelda. I don't remember the last Zelda that I liked. Like, mm -hmm. how many games have you played, is the thing? I played Ocarina of Time, which I thought was okay. I played Under Majora's Mask, which I really liked. Well, I thought you said you couldn't think of a Zelda game you really liked. Re of recent time. Oh, like recently. Did you play Breath or, Twi or Tears? I've not played Tears. I've played Breath. I... Mm. Did you play Link's Awakening? Mm, not the new remake that came out. Well, did you like one? Well, you know what? Maybe try it. If you like the original, you can definitely like this one. But I've played the original one. No, but like this is different enough that it really does stand out on its own. Like trust, like trust me. I I was talking about like. Switch games that I beat and didn't beat and whatnot, right? And I have a lot more Switch games I never beat, right? But I beat both Breath and I beat fucking Link's Awakening. And I can- and I speak- 
as Link's Awakening, one of my favorite games ever, that that remake is so worth it for like to is so worth it to experience the game. Even if you've played it before. But like I like you know I mean I I understand where you're coming from. With like games that you like but you haven't liked the recent one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird to me. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of a game that was like that with me. I mean, look, I, I that's directly me with Pokemon every for the last how many games. I wish I could fin I wish I could finish Pokemon Violet. I didn't stop playing it out of just I didn't stop playing it out of a mild dislike or whatever. I just stopped playing it because I'm like, oh, I got I got other games I gotta beat. I didn't even beat Kirby. JT. Neither did I. Now that I think about it, I'm mad about that. And like, sir, I've dropped a few. I've I've honestly dropped two games too and whatnot. Again, not out of like. Spider or anything like that. It's like, you know, I have fucking other shit that I want to do and whatnot. You know what I mean? I have obligations. I can't play I have lot. obligations too, like, you know, your videos. I have, you know, my music that, that, that you know, I focus on. I go to the and library shit. and draw. I play my fucking DS. Like, right here. I go to the library, I draw, I type scripts. I fucking, like, re I just research everything that I can think of, you know, for something. And then, you know, that's life. That's life. Yeah. So it goes, so it goes, so it goes. Indeed, indeed. But yeah, like, I, like, if I'm being honest, JT, mm -hmm. I, I like the opening... It's like, alright, of the two Pokemon games, if I'm being completely honest here, that all, the, all the Pokemon games that I played recently, right? I legitimately enjoyed, um... I legitimately enjoyed Shield. I, oh, fuck no. Oh, God. Like, legitimately, I'm legitimately enjoyed Shield. I'm legitimately enjoying Violet. I just, you know, I just had to stop because, like I said, I, I have other games. So, here's the thing. I have radically different... I have the same opinion for radically different reasons why I don't like Scarlet and Violet versus um, Sword and Shield. Mm-hmm. Sword and Shield, for me, felt lazy and, like, nothing really new. Right? Mm -hmm. Scarlet and Violet felt very, like, they threw a lot of ideas at the wall. And while a lot of them do technically stuck, it's not polished. And like I you said, know what I mean? even, even I said, yeah, some of this is a little weird and wonky, but I've played through weird and wonky before. So it's like, I'm just like, whatever with it. Right, but, like, most people look at Nintendo's virtually squeaky clean backlog and are like, hey, this sticks out. The thing is, Game Freak, though, is not really Nintendo for the most part. They have, like, a bunch of other, like, stuff. I get that, but it's fucking Pokemon. It's the world's best-selling franchise. You think you can figure out how to not make your game a buggy mess. Like, there's no way in hell they don't have, they can't hire people to help with that. I know. I'm with you on that. But like I said, me personally, like I said, I've, I've been enjoying it. It's just like trying to find time to play it is like, you know, I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom and that's eating up my time. <laughs> no, I get it. Now, now, Legends Arceus, though. No, um, here's the thing. What? 
I I want to legally say I like Legends Arceus. Of all the Pokemon games I've played recently, that's the one I have the highest opinion of. Really? Um, the problem is with Legends Arceus, I feel like the novelty of it, for me, ran out quickly, and there wasn't enough that wanted me to, like, keep playing. Hmm. If that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, Nick, what'd we learn? Um... Fandoms are wild, no matter what it is. That's a good takeaway. <laughs> I've learned that, um... If you're gonna take financial advice, take it from a guy who has <laughs> fucking sock puppets and, you know, sound effects and shit. Yeah, that's basically it. Okay. I learned that I somehow became a actual financial advisor. <laughs> um, yeah, that's basically, yeah, I basically learned the fucking, um, the... The fandom one, pretty much, but I've known that one for, like, a while. But, oh, what can you do? Anyway, guys, thank you guys for joining us tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. But remember, as always, be yourselves and remember. <gasps> make a like a hi, make a hi ho mo make a chai, make a mo make a hey. Pickle barrel, come quiet, chimichurri, changa. That's a secret word of the day. Alright, guys, catch you all later. Merrick out. See you guys. Night, everybody. Bye-bye.